Launch enabled. GE, main power off. Main power off. 40. 35. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go NRL 37. Green board. 25. Light lock in. 20. 15. Profi ignition. T minus 10. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 4. We have main engine ignition. 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NROL 37 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. starboard booster in the full thrust mode and in the port booster in the partial thrust mode. Altitude now passing 9.2 nautical miles, velocity 2,533 feet per second, downrange distance 4.96 nautical miles. One minute, 49 seconds in. We're listening to Steve Agate providing launch vehicle ascent data. Hydrazine uh, pressurization valve is now on in the second stage as second stage systems are coming online. Passing two minutes, seven seconds. Altitude now passing 15.8 nautical miles. Velocity 3,854 feet per second. Downrange distance 11.51 nautical miles. Two minutes, 20 seconds in. Still looking good. Good uh, symmetrical chamber pressures in the port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode. Good chamber pressure in the core in the partial thrust mode. Two minutes, 35 seconds. Two minutes, 40 seconds in, the Delta IV rocket now only weighs one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at the rate of 4,889 pounds per second. Two minutes, 50 seconds in. Mark, 2 minutes 56 seconds, just passing Mach 5, vehicle now traveling five times the speed of sound, is approaching 3 minutes 3 seconds in. Altitude now passing 29.5 nautical miles, velocity 7,815 7, feet per second, downrange distance 54 nautical miles. 3 minutes 18 seconds in. Still looking good, engine control is good in the first stage. About 15 seconds from now, we'll expect the uh, port and starboard booster to toggle to the partial thrust mode. Standing by for that command to go to partial thrust and port and starboard. And we see the partial thrust commode. The command is good. Thrust level's dropping in the port and starboard as expected. Standing by for cutoff. And we see cutoff in the Port and starboard booster, standing by for separation, and separation. Port and starboard boosters have separated from the core booster. And we've ramped up to full power mode in the core. 
Good full power mode in the core. Four minutes, 17 seconds in. We have about one minute remaining in the first stage flight. Passing four minutes, 32 seconds. Just passing Mach 15, 15 times the speed of sound. Passing four minutes, 42 seconds in. At this uh, point in the flight, we're uh, having a maximum uh, skin temperature as predicted. About uh, 45 seconds or so until we go to the partial thrust mode in the core booster. Altitude now 59.4 nautical miles, velocity 1,700, correction 17,800 feet per second, and downrange distance 272 nautical miles, passing 5 minutes 10 seconds into the flight. Now about 10 seconds away from the partial thrust command in the core booster. Standing by. And we see the partial thrust command. Standing by for cutoff. And we see cutoff. Standing by for stage step. And we see stage separation. Ned's deploy is in work. Standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark and ignition. Good ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is rising. Good chamber pressure in the second stage, just where we want it to be. Six minutes, eight seconds into the flight. Next major event will be the fairing separation. Approximately 20 seconds from now. Good engine control in the second stage, recovering from its initial transients. Standing by for fairing step. And we have fairing step. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus 6 minutes, 54 seconds. We've just seen the successful liftoff of the Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the NROL-37 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office, and all systems continue to operate nominally. Liftoff occurred at 1.51 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At our customer's request, we'll now conclude our live coverage. Thanks to ULA's Steve Agid for his participation in today's show. For more information about you,